unmanaged devices often have valid reasons to access data in a company's cloud apps. But after this access, IT loses control over the data, which increases risk. So how should IT respond? Blocking unmanaged devices harms productivity. Installing agents on non-corporate assets is seldom feasible, and agentless reverse proxies frequently break and disrupt business. Zscaler browser isolation is the solution. Through an agentless isolation proxy, it renders app sessions in the Zero Trust Exchange and streams only pixels to the endpoint. This prevents downloading, copying and pasting, and printing of data, so companies can enable unmanaged device access without leakage, agents, or reverse proxies. Let's watch a quick demo. So currently, um, the way to configure this is within uh, Zscaler, you would go to administration and go to identity proxy settings. And then when you come here, again, you would configure everything that you configure standard for identity proxy. So uh, what is your ACS URL, uh, your identity proxy settings, um, what are you doing with the domain names? And then we've introduced two new settings over here. So manage device setting. So here it determines whether it's proxied via Zscaler or we're checking whether it's proxy via Zscaler and we are looking for a device trust attribute. So uh, in this particular case, we're looking for the trust attribute called trust. And then for trusted devices, the attribute will be printed as trusted. Uh, for other devices, it might be untrusted or unknown. And those devices would come in through browser isolation. So once we determine a uh, whether a device is managed or unmanaged, then of course, for all managed devices, the traffic will flow through Zscaler. But for unmanaged devices, we provide two options. So either we can block access, so completely they cannot access the Sanctum SaaS app from, a managed, from an unmanaged device. Or the new option that we have introduced is browser isolate, which means when someone logs in from an unmanaged device, then we will isolate that traffic. Um, we can create, associate that with different isolation profiles. Uh, so you can have an isolation profile which allows upload and download uh, or it blocks upload and download. In our particular profile, we actually block upload and download of data. So you can view the SaaS application in a read-only mode. And again, once this isolation has happened, all the Zscaler policies are evaluated. So I'm going to open up a different browser um, and we can test it. As you can see in my desktop, I do not have my Zscaler client connector connected, which means at this point in time, my device is an unmanaged device. So let me open my browser. This is Safari, and I'm going to go and access Google. So let me go and access Google with a user called demo user at aldesoparity.com, click next. And then again, as you see here, it redirects me into isolation over here. In this particular case, I was already authenticated, so it did not ask me for authentication. Um, you can see a tiny browser inside the browser. This is Zscaler's browser isolation. Uh, you have a clear banner there saying, hey, you are in an isolated session. So here, let's go and go to Google Drive as an example here. Uh, so you see, it would open in a new tab. Um, I have a document here saying 100 SSN. So again, this has sensitive data in this particular document. Um, we can view this document. You know, I can edit this document. But let's say I go and say I want to go and download this. So let's say I want to download this as a PDF. You can see that the download happened, but it's not in my browser. It's in this isolated environment where the entire download happened. So if I go back to my downloads folder and you see here that SSN 100 was nowhere over there. So which means it actually did not get downloaded to my endpoint.